Hello guys, pretty recently in Laravel 9.30, Dries Vince released the support for UUID and ULID as primary keys. Before that it was possible to do but with separate packages or with external functions that you need to create yourself. From 9.30 Laravel has support internally for those unique identifiers. For those who don't know, UUID is basically a string like this one so in the database I will show you so instead of just ID as a number you have those IDs why would you do that because you want to hide the numbers mostly for security reasons so for example if you have a record of one two three four five and then in the browser they are identified as one two three four five then you expose two things first that it is sequential, so someone may try to guess number six, seven, or eight, and may try to maybe access the record that doesn't belong to them. Or maybe you don't want people to know which number is the record. So you don't want them to know that you have only three records in your database, for example. So these are just a few concerns why people sometimes choose UUIDs. And from that newer Laravel version, it is really easy to adopt. So if you want to change that, table ID, the auto increment integer. First, you change that table ID to UUID and you can specify the column, which is by default UUID from what I remember, but you can specify anything else. So UUID ID, and that actually existed before Laravel 930. So this column in migration is not new. What is new in the model where you want to introduce that behavior, you just add a trait has UUIDs. It's automatically added here with my PHP storm. And then what happens when you create the model UUID as a primary key is inserted automatically. So if we go to PHP artisan tinker and try to create a task with factory task factory create the result of that would be as you can see some other fields, but ID is UUID. I didn't specify that rule in factory or anywhere It's just Laravel is taking the settings from the model, has UUIDs, and does that magic under the hood. In the pull request by Dries Vins, you may find not only a lot of people clapping and cheering about that, but also more logic inside. Because there are different ways to generate UUIDs, different algorithms, and also there's ULID. So you can read more, I will link that in the description below. So something like UUID version 7, version 4, what is the difference? Then down below there's explanation what is ULID by Dark Ghost Hunter. So yeah, I recommend you to read all of that if you are interested in deeper logic how UUIDs work. If you want more news about Laravel like this one and others, I'm trying to shoot daily videos for almost two years now. So subscribe to the channel to get informed daily. Or if you're not a fan of daily videos, you can subscribe to a weekly newsletter where you will see all the links to my weekly videos from that week and also a lot of Laravel related links from the community, around 20 useful links every week, every Thursday. So join currently 7,000 subscribers and stay informed every week. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.